Okay, well, here's the first experiment, <clears throat> my first attempt to do a resin cast. I'm doing a slug, and I've got it so that there'll be vents coming out of these antenna. Hopefully I won't get an air pocket stuck down in there. I've got a couple little things here that details that need to be worked on. I'm putting it in this tray in case my mold form just starts to leak. I'm hoping it's not. I used flex seal around the edges and um, should be all right. My main concern is that this is wax and so it could float. Um, what we're going to use a 40 minute compound silicon rubber 15 from Malcock, uh, which tells me I have a 40 minute work time uh, in the instructions. So the first step is going to be to measure out and I'm doing this by weight. So I need 10 ounces of each. Eight, nine, ten. I measured the volume that goes into the form and it looks like it's 20 ounces. I'm hoping that it is because this is quite expensive. So let's set the B over to the side. We'll mix A in the larger one and zero this out. That's 10. Mixing part A with part B. It's uh, 10, 1120. That gives me until 11. 40 minutes. Oh, I've got till 12 o'clock. So we're going to get this good and stirred. It's a little too cold to work in my shop over at the barn, so much to the chagrin of my wife, I'm now doing this on the kitchen counter, which she loves. And of course, this stuff is very easy to peel off once it's set, so I'm not too worried about it, but she might be. I'm not too worried about the uh, amount of bubbles that I'm putting into it because I am going to take this into a vacuum chamber and degas it after I've got it where I like it. All right, I believe that's enough of that. Now, let's see if I can take the camera with me. have a pot set up I'm trying to get it down to all the way down to there all right open. These are open. Looks good. Pump on. And take off. Boom. And there it's degassing really nicely. leave it till it stops foaming so that looks really nice all the bubbles have come out of it I'll let it sit for another few minutes I want to get this poured so that I have a good pour 
Okay, I'm fairly happy with that because it looks like it stopped foaming. Very few bubbles, a few bubbles on the top. Let's uh, open it up and see what we get as far as when it compresses back down. Okay. Now we'll just do a little touch up here in anticipation of having bubbles. I'll make sure that I have a good layer there and there. Anywhere where we suspect there'll be bubbles forming. Okay, let's let that set up. A little concerned how thin that is right there. It looked, it seemed like when I built the frame that I'd have a good eighth of an inch, but maybe I'm just able to see through that more than I thought. Uh, this is our proof, as soon as that's hard, we'll know. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this in front of the heater and uh, we'll come back. All right, here we go. I'm gonna to try to cut that vent and get to that. Stab myself. Oh, dang it, I just cut myself again. Okay, let's see if we can get her out of here. Yeah, so the heat from the mold has made her a little bit different, a little bit soft, but I think we did okay as long as I don't have any chimney blockage. Yes, I am. God damn it, I just did it again. Well, I hope that's all of it. I can't see, but, yep, I have air going through that vent, 
And it doesn't, it looks pretty good. What do you think, Robert? Can't see any cut lines. I'm liking it. Look at the detail in that. That's awesome. Now, I'm just gonna get this cleaned up a little bit and we can start pouring. But that looks pretty spectacular. I think that's gonna be gorgeous. Let's find out. 